In today's video, we've got two new additions. So sit back, relax, and let's see what we got. Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. In today's video I've received two parcels, one from spiderplanet.co.uk and one from Portsmouth. I'll be doing an unboxing and showing you what we got. I'm very excited about this one as one of these species I've been after for absolutely ages. But before I show you them unboxings, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. Let's show you the unboxings. Here we go, let's get into it. Now this order was placed the day after the Southern Invert Show down in Brighton. This particular species I had been searching for on the day and no one was selling it. And it was disappointing that I didn't pick it up. But the next day I went online and Emil over at Spider Planet had updated his website. And there it was, much to my delight. So I placed the order and waited patiently for it. Speaking of invert shows, here's an advertisement for the Sea Show at the Asford International Hotel on January 30th, 2022, which I will be appearing at. But enough of that, let's get back into this unboxing. Very nicely packaged, as always, from Spider Planet. There was a heat pack in there that was still really, really warm. And I like the way they wrap it. As you can see, there's some bubble wrap, some tin foil, and then it's also in a polystyrene container, which really does control the temperatures of the spiders when they're in transit. Carefully undoing the tin foil. Really warm from that heat pack. They really are a great company. They do know how to ship their spiders. But anyway, like I said, I was looking for this spider. I've been searching for this one for over a year. And whenever they've been available on sale, I've never been able to purchase it. As soon as I've gone to click buy, boom they're all out of stock so I'm, oh, I'm so excited while I'm doing this package couple of little freebies here from spider planet nice little sweet and also a spider planet pen which will come in handy when writing labels so you're probably all wondering now what this spider is that I have ordered and I'm about to show you. We got Ferrifosinae species Panama, not to be confused with Nichnocolis species Panama, which is very similar, but they are definitely not the same species. A lot of people get them confused. This is the Lava Tarantula, very, very rare and very, very expensive. Now I'm not sure of the size on this, so I've got this enclosure set up just in case it's a couple of centimeters in diagonal leg span, but also I'm prepared just in case it's a teeny, teeny tiny sling. Now these guys do grow really, really quickly, so even if I pull it in a little vial, it's gonna outgrow it quite quickly. Just opening up the tissue here. Oh, there it is. It is tiny. So it definitely doesn't need this big enclosure. And there it is. You can see the colors are already on this little sling. 
The reds and the blacks on these are absolutely stunning. I remember the first time I laid eyes on these, I was blown away. I've never ever seen a tarantula, apart from a Carabena Versicolor, that is so vibrant. Look how cute that is. That is just wow. So let's just put some substrate into the vial it came in. We'll give it enough so it can burrow. Just pack that down a little bit. Bit more, that'll do it. There you go. Look at him just going for a wander and straight into his new home. I am so excited to have this in the collection. You have no idea. I will definitely be doing an update video as this one grows and gets bigger. Just to show you those colors and how amazing they are. Wow. definitely worth every penny that I paid for it hopefully one day soon once it puts on some size I'll be able to sex it so then I can search for another one of the opposite sex and get a breeding pair and hopefully introduce more of these into the hobby so let's leave it there and move on to the next one now this box that we have here is from the awesome Portsmouth Tarantulas. You may have seen in the last video that we got two mystery bags at the Southern Invert Show. If anyone's looking for a UK seller to purchase from, Portsmouth Tarantulas are right up there with the very best, along with the Spider Shop, So Many Legs, Spider Planet, Skinny Legs Tarantulas. They're all definitely worth checking out. Now this one I did pick up from Portsmouth, it was the only one that had this species sexed and at a very good size for the money. Very well packaged, I don't like this tape that they've put on there, it's always very very difficult to undo, but I suppose when parcels are in transit, security is the most important thing. So there we have a Portsmouth Tarantula sticker and also another little box this time it's got the brown tape on it that's much easier much much easier to undo than that other stuff they had on the outside I always worry though when there's a box inside a box I always think to myself I hope the tarantula inside hasn't been shaken about in the post and is loose inside. I don't know, there's something about opening two boxes that always makes me uneasy. Carefully undoing the tape and opening up the box. So let's check out what we got. Here we have it. Pistotheria Tigrina Wesley female, the tiger ornamental. This was £60. Oh, there's a freebie. What have we got? What is the freebie? Oh, Terranoculus caudatus. That's a nice little freebie. I did have one of these previously, but it passed away not that long ago. So that's definitely a excellent little addition just check there's nothing else in there no I don't think so I'm really happy with that that's awesome so here we go we are rehousing this female piece of theria Tigrina Wesley now I opened it up to check she's okay and she's a very decent size. She's going into this 20 by 20 by 30 enclosure, which will do her just nicely. It's just a basic setup. She's got cork bark. She's got some moss to 
hold in some of that humidity if I ever give it a spray. I will put a water dish in here afterwards and just another little bit of cork bark. It's very, it's a very, very, very basic setup. Nothing too fancy. Hopefully I'll see this girl out and about just as much as I see the other female in the collection. Hopefully I can get this lid off without her bolting up at me. There you can see her little, little toes. I'm going to place it down here. I should really be doing this with a catch cup. She should be fine. Stunning markings on those legs. In fact, I'm just going to move this here. All right, let's move this camera to give you guys a better view. So hopefully this girl just calmly comes out because in my experience, Tigrina Wesleys have always been more feisty than other piece Lefurias that I've had. If you remember the first unboxing video I ever did of these, I got a Fred posture and she was really, really feisty. So I don't really want to go sticking my hands in here too much. If I just take my time and don't stress her out, she should be nice and calm. Come on. Now I can't see if this is the back, this is the front. I believe. Whoa! Don't do that. There you go, go on. Look at those stunning markings on the legs. Go on. There you go, go on. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. It's your new home. How stunning is she? Absolutely beautiful. Bet she feels great being out of that tiny little enclosure, that little transportation cup. I've never called it that before in my life. Wow. But you know what I mean, the pot she was in. Stretching her legs out. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful species. Good size as well. I like that about Portsmouth. Their sizes on the description on the website are always spot on. So let's take this little pot out. So I'm gonna recycle this. I'm gonna use it as the water dish. Also, the label in the enclosure. Without starting her, I can just remove this little bit of cool bark.
Now we'll place that there. Like that. That's going to be her water dish. Just see the little feet poking out there. Obviously that label isn't going to last forever. There she is, settled in behind the cork tube. I fully expect her to uh, come up and uh, obviously live inside the cork bark. But no, I'm really happy with that rehouse. Here's the pot she came in here, which is going to be used as a as a water dish. What I'll do is I'll fill it right up. And then I won't have to uh, spray the enclosure for any extra humidity because as the water inside here evaporates it will provide enough humidity for her in the enclosure. It's one thing you don't want to do with your tarantulas is over spray them, make the enclosures so moist and damp that it then becomes a death trap for the tarantula. So that's a much, much more efficient and better way of doing it. But anyway, we're going to leave her there to get settled in. Really happy with that. So there you have it, two awesome species rehoused. I'm really excited to have the Ferrophosidae species Panama in the collection. Ever since I saw them last year, I've been trying and trying to pick one up, but whenever I've gone to purchase them, boom, they're out of stock straight away. All of you have been snapping them up. But this time it was my turn and I managed to get one, so I'm so happy. And on top of that, a female Peace Lefiria Tigrina Wesley. I absolutely love Peace Lefiria. So to have another female in the collection is absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoyed the two rehousings. Now this is the end of the video, but before we go, I want to take the time to remind you guys about the two giveaways we've got going on the channel. The first giveaway, which we're really, really close to doing, is a 1.5k subscribers. I'll be giving one of you the chance to win five slings from my own personal collection. And if that's not enough, at 2k subscribers, I'll be giving one of you the chance to win everyone's favourite species, T. Celadonia. All you have to do to be in it is be subscribed to the channel, go over and watch my Grammastola Rosea video and just write T. Celadonia in the comments. Once you've done that, you'll be entered. It's that simple. And that's everything I have to say in this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've subscribed. And hopefully you've smashed that like button. That's all I've got to say. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.